Hi everybody and welcome back to Crypt Monkey Paints, the delayed finish of the Koi Dragon. Yeah, I did. Um, get him falling over. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know we're supposed to start at 3, but at 2.30, Ty came in the office and said, Hey, are we streaming today? I went, oh crap! And then we started getting ready. <laughs> so whoops uh, but we're here and we're gonna finish painting and he's gonna be amazing and I love him so let's just get started because it's awesome um, we are oh and check out the new layout yay Ty worked so hard and it looks amazing and I love it and it's so pretty it's so pretty it's so pretty there are so many little details happening in here I don't even know where to talk we're going to start with on on the layout it's just freaking awesome um, and I'm struggling to open up this box at the moment. But no, I, I'm just going to unscrew the lid. I couldn't flip the lid open, so I'm done. Uh, so, we all know from the last time, and if you weren't here last time, thank you for joining me now. But if, we, if you were here last time, you know that I worked on this beautiful base. Put it down here. I uh, worked on this beautiful base, and it was a failed print, but I wanted you guys to see what I was going to do for the base itself. Uh, so I did get the reprint, came out wonderfully. I actually increased the size just, well, it seems like a lot, but it's actually just a little bit. Do side by side, let's see. So this is the new base versus the old base. Uh, and, and the Koi Dragon fits regardless. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to work in a red hair. But I went through and kind of did basic paint job on this guy to get it kind of to the state that we had this one at so that we could just keep going. But I am going to use the broken failed print base to hold the Koi Dragon while I'm working on the base work because I'm smart and I have good ideas occasionally. my uh, homemade um, marshmallows in it and it's the eggnog flavored marshmallows so I have eggnog coffee so I will occasionally have uh, a little bit of marshmallow on my lips sorry but it's worth it it really is so anyway um, this one also it printed a little bit it's hard there at, at that angle you can kind of see it's kind of bowed like this. So what I'm going to end up doing is uh, putting it on a base, which is not what I wanted to do because I wanted to be able to shine a light through the bottom. But it's, I mean, it sits basically steady. So I think it's more important to have it on a base and be secure that way. So, uh, but I've got some pretty colors over here to kind of finish doing my dry brushing on the the waves themselves um, I always like to start off with kind of a darker brown a weird kind of off color on the foamy bits of the waves and then I bring it up so from there and I'm going to keep just dry brushing oh and we have music playing to kind of fit the theme so if it is too loud, please let us know. Hi, Sunbaran. Um, let us know if the music is too loud, just right. It's supposed to be just, what's the word? I was going to say amniotic, but that's babies. Ambient music. <laughs> Not amniotic. <laughs> I didn't really focus in on the model itself, but 
it actually has where it's supposed to have the foamy bits. They made little bumps. So they made the foamy bits very clear of this should be a foamy bit, which I thought was a really great detail. I love that so much. So, some of you might have noticed in the Discord. No. Oh, in the, uh, in the Discord uh, for Tuesday's stream, I had a set of you know, these are the possible minis for the Alter the Stream button. Um, and I am keeping the same ones that I had posted already. I went ahead and reposted them so you don't have to scroll up and everything. But uh, they're there. Oh, did I leave my little dragon egg? Where did I put my dragon egg? Will you look on my painting desk and see if you see a little baby dragon? He's in an egg. I had to print this out. I keep saying um today. What is with the ums? Yay, thank you, Angie. Or thank you, Sunbaran, for the donation. I appreciate that. So this is the single dragon in the egg. So he's freshly hatched. So that's one of the possible picks from They alter the street. Good God. It is definitely a Sunday, and my vocabulary is shot. So I missed it. Did it throw the thing up like it's supposed to? Yeah, it did. Okay. I mean, I see it in chat, but I wasn't sure if... Yeah, it popped up right across, right over... I know, I'm pointing so you guys can't see where I'm pointing, but it's like... <laughs> it popped up right over on the side. So Sun Baran, how do you like the new layout? The new overlay, I guess, is technically. The really fun thing is if you look at the edges, the things that are moving the background are all our um, painted minis. And Ty did a really, well, Ty and Cora both worked together mm -hmm. yeah. to get a really cool film of them. Hmm. A little bit of the grass in our back. And a little bit of our grass and our leaves. <laughs> I keep pushing it really far away from me for some reason thinking that that's the main part of my frame. I should be painting right here. I'd like to be painting it. So this is an um, off-white. This is that uh, antique white is what I'm using first. Are you talking about the colors or are you talking about the music? <laughs> uh, you're saying the music's a little too loud? Oh no. 
no, we don't hear the alerts again. Gee, I have no idea what's too loud, sweetie. Well, it, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. That's when, like, you, you're typing again, but you're not answering. They're not. A different situation. I know. <laughs> Just in case they can't, she can't hear me. Oh, that's what else I was going to say. So, um, for those of you in the Discord, I think Ty put in a picture of we are officially up and running with all of my printers again. I'm so freaking happy. Um, well, this is the first time we're running with three Saturns. Yes, this is the first time we are officially running with three Saturns. So. And uh, it's funny because Ty took a picture and it was like two of them were already printing and I had just started the third one. So it was, and they were all like teared up. It was really, really perfect timing on it for a picture. Uh, but no, so it, it's really nice to be able to be fully operational, which kind of makes it even more awesome because I can actually 3D print things to paint again. Yay! Currently, I am printing a thing for me to paint for Ty's show on Monday night. Oh, it, it wasn't a secret. We just hadn't decided, so you're, it's fine for you to say. I am painting, well, I'm printing what's, tech, I don't know if I want to say the technical name of what I'm printing or if what it's, I'm going to turn it into, I guess both. That's fine, too. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I'm also printing a thing for Cora for their stream. I'm, I'm, I'm undecided if I'm going to speak yet about what I'm painting for Tasha. Um, but... Oh, you know what? Here, we'll do this. <laughs> oh, thank you for the hooray, Angie. Sorry, Sunbrand. Um, okay, everybody, you ready? Spoiler alert. So plug your ears and go la 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 if you don't want to hear this next bit, okay? I'm going to give you about three, two, one. I am printing a dragon head and a shield that is like a mounted dragon head. And what that is what Cora will be painting on Wednesday. And it's... And for Ty's show on Monday, Ty and Jake's show, I am printing a plesiosaur. And I'm going to paint it with the intention of it becoming a Loch Ness monster. I gave him a spoiler alert. Okay, you can unplug now. You're good. No more spoilers. I'm good. Well, and plug their ears and go la 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 if they don't want to hear it. Yeah. So that way, you know, we're good. I'm covered. So, in these inner areas, I really want to go super, super light on the touches of white if it happens. But, you know, hit my, my wagon. One of the things that I did was, like, in this area, switch that up, you know, in this area right here, it's actually portions of the rock that are being covered by the wave itself. So what I did was I painted it brown for the rock itself to match, but then I 
brought some blues over those browns. So it makes it look like a really thin layer of water going over it. And then just by hitting it with the tiniest amount of white, it gives that the wave kind of breaking over the rock. So I just, I want to be super careful with how much white I put in here. But I definitely need some. Actually, I'm not sure what you're talking about at the moment. Uh, somebody who's watching was going to come paint with you? I don't know. It's something that, that we talked about, uh, and hopefully then January, actually get us set up. And, uh, if they want to. You turn off, or you can type out. The... Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> In the notepad. The nice thing about that is that uh, technically she's just down the street, so it's me. Jane, wait, run over! <laughs> That's all I want to be able to say. Maybe we do this. We are trying to work on We are trying to work on a busy Created a challenge for me. I don't think we 
we have worked out the details of what's going to happen. I think what's going to happen. I think we'll find it. Oh, but there, we, we've, I've thrown down a gauntlet for them, basically. With some pretty awesome rewards for them if they can, if they can run through that gauntlet. Okay. So, I'm pretty happy with that. So, what I'm going to do now is... I hate that so much. It bothers me so much. Um, there's a one. Is that the new one? Yeah. It basically had printed where the base did not stay solid, like straight flat. But it's, it's definitely fixable. All I have to do is put it on another base. Okay. Like a, a Reaper base, set it with inside of that, and then that will uh, hold it level. So somebody can't hear it over is. the music. Okay, so the music is too loud for some reason. Music just stopped, of course, as we're trying of to course. get it worked um, out. But. Yeah, so. Right now, it's currently wobbly, but what I'm going to end up doing is fixing that to where I'm putting it on a, a, a Reaper base that's just a black base and gluing it down onto that, and it'll keep it from wobbling anymore. It'll be a secured flat surface. But these are the little guys that I want to add to his base in random places, but you can see that they have a sand. So if I don't put a sand on this base, it's not going to look... They, they literally look completely out of place. So um, what I'm going to do... Look how cute that is. He fits perfect. So what I want to do is I want to add a sand to all of this area in order to make it... These guys fit in. What I'll end up doing is using my trusty PVA glue and some sand, and then I will dry brush over that to bring it to the right color. But that is not going to happen at this moment because I am desperate to get onto him. Uh, and I kind of want to let the, the paint on that one set some while I'm off working over here. I think you were explaining it as they were asking. <laughs> um, it, it's it's funny because this piece is larger than the first one, but and you can see that he sits. Oh, I hate that little squeak. He sits just like that on that base, but I made this one slightly larger. And he fits wonderfully quite well on here as well so there are and I, I did that because the little guys were had kind of a couple of little tight fits in that in the areas I wanted to put him put them because there's not just one but like this guy fits right in there so awesomely but on this one he is like being pinched by the wave and his base isn't quite on inside the, the gap where it was. So this size makes it to where they actually fit quite well. So the only thing is, is you can very clearly see the difference between his base and this base. So by using the sand and the PVA glue, I'll be able to blend those seamlessly into each other. <clears throat> but I want to let that dry some more and realistically speaking I want to hurry up and do that because it's the next thing in my head but realistically speaking it is better to get this the rest of the way done and actually glue them in where I want them because once they're in there then I can apply the PVA glue around their base and it will completely be seamless um, and you'll never realize that they weren't part of the base itself so that's going to sit off to the side because what i want to do and what i should do two completely different things so i'm gonna be a good girl and i'm gonna just move it away and move on uh, 
um, his eyeballs are actually large enough for me to do full on dragon eyes. So what I want to do is give myself a nice good base. So I'm going to go ahead and get some white on his eyes just so I have a good spot to paint and I can have plenty of room and time to do multiple layers of the white itself if I need to. Ow! Spiky motherfucker. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, but you can see just with that white how you can actually tell how large his eyeballs actually are. Um... <clears throat> I do want to mention that this model is for sale on our Etsy page where you can buy and I'll print it and ship it. Oh. Um, and I'm doing eyeballs, so you're kind of lucky that was really quiet. Otherwise, I'm going to throw this thing at you. I did, yeah. Um, but anyway, anyway. The model itself is available for sale on our Etsy page. You can buy it and I'll ship it and you can paint it and it'll be amazing. Or on our Kofi shop, I already have this exact one posted for sale. Now obviously I'm only painting one, so one is available. Uh, but you can go on and buy this model, this specific one from us or from the Kofi shop. I think I want to paint his beard in a gray, so I'm going to give myself a white base so that it's solid because it is quite see-through. Why am I doing that? So used to painting like I've been painting for Ty's stream and I say Ty's stream but it's Ty's and Jake's but <clears throat> um, gamers in the unknown which if you haven't followed on their channel absolutely do that because it is so much fun and this week is a, a week where we're doing the mini will be a giveaway day. so you definitely want to be watching We rotate. Is this a is this a mini or a biggie? <laughs> Between Cora's print and my print, it is one print on the Saturn. So they're both. I I, I don't know. I've never so printed. Big. <laughs> I've never printed this model, but I've printed them as big as I could fit in one print. Cora wanted theirs roughly what? And we're giving it away. Yes. Uh, Cora wanted theirs roughly the same size as I already had one printed out that I'm working on. So basically, I filled the rest of the area with the plesiosaur. Oh, I shouldn't have said that without killing. <laughs> well, no, I told them. Like, you know, like, uh, oh, you did tell them with all. I, I told so them to the plug. Spoiler alert stuff. Though. Yeah, I'm like plug your ears if you don't want to know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we are moving all of our painted miniatures off of the Etsy shop just because it's it's easier to manage the Kofi shop with one inventory, you know, because they're unique they're painted just that one piece um, so with Etsy is great for like I've got 50 of these but if I have one it, it's not so great so it's definitely easier to put them um, on the Kofi shop so I'm working on moving all of the painted miniatures that I have over to that so I went ahead and what okay. oh Samarian says, woman, do you have a, a brush in your hair? No, it's a pencil because I couldn't find my ponytail, so I just literally bound my hair up with a pencil uh, <laughs> because it's what was sitting right here. Um, 
So I got out my other palette because I have a very liquidy paint. It's my favorite black paint so that I can kind of deepen some of the scales. But it's so liquidy, I can't use it on that other palette. Actually, I'm just gonna... Get over. Nope, that won't work. That's Sunburns is right on. That's their catchphrase. That's her catchphrase. I dig it. Can you dig... Sorry. Start, start singing that Can You Dig Your Man song. From the stage. Really, this is going to act as my shade. So, hopefully, let's see. Basically, instead of brushing this way along the scale, what I'm doing is coming down to the backs, the overlay of the scale. So, like the scales kind of sit like this. So, I'm coming into this rather than going over the top. When I'm ready for it to be the the shiny bit, the detail on the top of the scale, that's when I'll brush down rather than coming up it. Letting it go into that, onto the gold as well. going back over these anyway, so I'm terribly concerned about it. It's only having that available for me if I don't like how it looks, if that makes sense. I keep hitting. For some reason, I keep thinking I gotta paint way the hell out here. Oh, that's what I was explaining. So, I've been painting the pieces for Ty's stream and I keep putting a camera, the camera is actually angled like right here instead of being on the side, it's right in front of my stomach. So I paint over and out like that. So like I've been spending the last couple of paintings way out like this, so I'm forgetting that there's not anything blocking me at the moment, I can just paint. I hear my Bella Wella. Ooh, and I hear a poopy. Sir's already yelling. Ow! Those are so spiky. I haven't gotten nearly as much done on my coffee shop as I wanted to. I got it all started up. It was doing really well. And then I got uh, kind of slammed on Etsy with Christmas orders, which is definitely a good problem to have. Hey, Fluffy, what? Do you want to come say hello to everybody? Is it puppy cam time? <laughs> Just walk over with him instead. It's puppy cam time! Puppy. Oh, oh. Puppy who is not having a digital puppy cam. <laughs> oh, What's up, buddy? Oh, there's daddy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now it's done. cookie time. Now it's cookie time. Yay, cookies! Um. But yeah, I kind of got slammed on Etsy with Christmas orders, so kind of one of those double-edged sword. Where now I'm, I haven't had much time to get anything else done. But. Definitely planning on getting a lot more done on that soon. Um, Ty got, <clears throat> got all 
the stuff kind of added to here, I believe. Like it's... We've gotten Kofi tied to our Discord. We've got it tied to our Twitch now. Um, so really, it's more about me making more posts and things like that. So... I mean, it's actually like a really good, the, the user interface for me is super, super awesome. So it's pretty great because I can go in and I can actually describe in detail what I've done to get this effect or what I've done to get that effect. Hi, cutie cutie. Still digging the hair? My kids, for some reason, all believe that I'm a hairstylist, so they're like, here, cut my hair. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, but okay. It still looks good. I think it looks awesome. It just scares the ever-living crap out of me. Well, that's coming from the person who still wants me to do more cutting on there. Because it's not quite right. Yeah, I can't fix that. The calic has to be grown out. Just change your name to Alpha. <laughs> Bye, baby. Have fun. I don't remember exactly why they were stopping by, but I believe it had something to do with the Sibby's opinion on what I'm wearing to a going away party thing. scales that I really, really like how they look already, and I don't want to touch them. <laughs> uh, but no, what I was saying was, on the Kofi, is like, it's got a really great area for me to do blog posts and things like that, which I'm trying to get in the habit of doing. Uh, but, like, the best time for me to do a blog post is first thing in the morning when I wake up. Half the time I kind of jump up and hit the ground running as soon as, you know, as soon as my eyes are open, I'm, I'm switching prints and then going over to the sewing machine or cutting fabric for five freaking hours. because I literally lost an entire day of my week. I'm like, oh my god, that's all. Awesome. It was pretty much a Friday anyway, since we I just get plans and stuff to, to work through Christmas stuff. Yeah. Christmas sales. Which, having the, the third printer up and running again is making it to where I feel like I can breathe again. It's, it's funny because I, it's not actually funny, like, it's not ha-ha funny, but it's like, I feel your pain funny. Um, one of the other people that are, that is a vendor for, a licensed vendor for the Lord of the Print put a message out asking for help from other merchant tier people saying, you know, one of my printer, printers crashed and I'm now over capacity. I'm looking for somebody in the U.S. that can then can help me. You know, I'd like to subcontract you to print these. And I was like, I love you. I'm right there with you, dude. I love you, but I ain't got time to help you. <laughs> yeah. So. Because I thought it was a nice <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things of, I feel like I actually have breathing room. I feel confident that I can get all of the orders done and out the door um, well within the shipping time that that I've promised and hopefully even earlier. 
Nope, did not even get me. Didn't even phase me, Zombie Cora. Sorry. It's it's because of having the music in here. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's one of the things that, that Sunday streams are for, is for testing things, so. I think it's a good test. I like having the music. It's just, it sets the mood for me so, so well. I spent a lot of time figuring that stuff. Gamers in the unknown. This one for sound. That's okay, sweetheart. It's, I mean, realistically, he's he's producing three shows a week. Because I'm producing his show. I'm not. I'm hitting the buttons that he tells me to hit when I need to hit them. Because he's got them all set up to where it's... Our show's pretty complex. I appreciate you hitting those buttons. So. But, and I'm just saying, like, it's, it's not like I've done the work to get everything set up and ready. You've already done that. All I have to do is push a button. And like, if Ty wasn't feeling well, then I may not be able to stream because I can't run my stream. You know, if Ty or Cora couldn't run the stream while I'm working, then my stream would have to be down for the day. is in the same boat as me if, if I can't run it or Ty can't run it then then she's they're down as well but with like even with the complexity that Ty has done he can actually run his show without me which is pretty freaking awesome I'm literally just going in and kind of shading out certain areas of the tail and the fins so that they'll just have a slightly deeper color. No real rhyme or reason. Uh, well, yes. Yes and no, that's not true. There is a rhyme and a reason, both. But it's difficult to exactly put into words. Um, basically, I'm still doing it. I'm still shoving my Basically, I'm looking at the shape of the body and the shape of the fins themselves and where it's condensed, where it's squished in, it would be naturally darker uh, because the light can't get through that darker area. So that is the actual rhyme or reason of where I'm putting shade and why I'm putting it in that spot. Samir says that is super awesome. What savvy? <laughs> are you are you drinking? No, we don't even have any wasabi. Why would we? Well because I would add it. No, I'd like to do more blog posts where I kind of go into more detail about why I did something the way I did it. Um, I know that there are some pretty freaking experienced painters that watch me that really don't need tricks or tips on what I'm doing because most of the tri tricks or tips that I have, I learned from them. Um, but there are also newbies that watch, and those things can be really helpful, but I may not think to say it on the stream, but I would think afterwards, like, oh, I should have said that, why I did that. Um, so the blog post would be a great place for me to do those extra little bits. And then the people who feel like they need or want that could definitely go there for it. Um, Ty is also working on another place 
or we can do exactly that same thing, except... so weird that I'm actually going to that right now to see if you've completed the registration process. I have or... not, because I never got that email. Okay. I muted it so they didn't even hear. Excuse me, I bet. Excuse me. Um but no, I'm I'm There's so many things that need to happen that it's like I need 15 more hands and I need to not sleep. <laughs> it's just really <laughs> what it is. Sleeps for losers. <laughs> no. I I'm kind of torn because I leave my laptop downstairs uh, where my printers are for the express use of, oh crap, I forgot to get this file on the flash drive for my printer. Now I have to walk all the way back up the stairs, yada, 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 because I'm lazy. Um, so I have them all kind of downstairs. I have it downstairs so that it, I can just grab the file and throw it on the flash drive and move on with my day. But the um that's like the best thing for me to write on honestly is because i can sit hell on my front porch and write a blog post while i have my morning coffee which is usually guzzled down i know i look really weird right now but i've got that on my finger so i'm trying to figure out where i can and cannot touch so that i don't spread that everywhere Um, usually my morning coffee happens where I'm guzzling it down while I'm trying to get things up and running again because I was stupid and went to sleep and things stopped being produced. That's the way it feels. Said the man who was like, okay, that's it, you need to go to sleep and then I'll get up at 5 a.m. to help you start up things again. Except, I went to bed at midnight, and he went to bed at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., or just stayed up. golden scales some more, but I think, don't think I can work just straight from this. It's been so long since I worked on him, I don't remember for sure. I just had a chill, so that probably was really funny. <laughs> I'm just trying to dance. Oh no, he's actually a really good dancer, unlike me. Okay. No, oh, you fucking rancher. Super detail time, which means extra hairs on a brush are a bad thing. Can't even see, but it actually has a little. Oh, there! You can see that little hair on that side over there. It's like nope, 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 because that will literally hit the mini, and it'll put paint where it don't want paint. Like, aren't you painting the whole thing? Well, yes, but I have one of different colors. Hate brush haircut.
Tabletop standard paint job, that's not a thing. And even the competition piece that I'm currently working on, I'm not painting every single open scale. Really still. Yeah, I'm, I'm tilting my head to get in the angle I need to see. We yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you are working on your stream, aren't you? I was going to do that. Originally, when I had talked about rolling everything down at the base, I was kind of on the line of thinking that I might do it in a pink shade. And I also have a couple of those, um, the flat ones that come straight out from rocks. They're usually kind of a pale color. make them 
more noticeable, which they wouldn't want to be in the in the natural world, but I'm painting a koi dragon. This isn't natural world stuff. So it's my world, I can do what the hell I want. I love that phrase. Even I use that phrase, people can usually assume it's I'm just allowing you to rent time. <laughs> Before I kill you with a big giant badass monster that's kind of an asshole. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was like, I didn't see anything. send Ty to the store, he doesn't always get the right size or the right brand of things. Like, I'll buy family-sized uh, pizza rolls. I tell Ty, go pick up some pizza rolls, and he comes back with a single serving for a toddler. And I'm like, dude, I'm fat. I eat more than that. <laughs> Exaggerating my words. <laughs> yeah. But it's just, it's funny because he'll just, he comes back with, you know, like, hey, I need some butter, and he goes and gets a stick of butter. That's just not enough for me. Uh, to put it in perspective, I've gone to. Those uh, big box stores where you can buy, you know, 25 pounds of flour. And I bought 25 pounds of flour. I've used 25 pounds of flour. Um, I, go, I remember one time I was shopping with some brand. I know, Beats Roll sounds good now, doesn't it? Uh, okay. uh, Sun Brand and I were shopping, and the cashier was like, Oh, you look, you've got a a really good selection. That looks awesome. What uh, what restaurant do you work for? I had three teenage children. <laughs> this is just how I cook. Of course, that was when I still had three teenage children. That's true. We only have one now. For a little while longer. And he means only a little while longer because we're going to kill them soon. <laughs> <laughs> they probably have the sound off, so you're safe-ish. Yeah, I know, right? Can't really play the sound with when you're dog-sitting. His psycho dog. The black scales will be much faster than this. Oh, what kind of pizza? I'm gonna guess uh, Papa John's, but it could be Domino's. It could be Emo's. folks from other places in the country right now are uh, like emos. The hell is emos? The square beyond compare. <laughs> That's what emos is. <laughs> Which is a whole different strive. No, it isn't. Square beyond compare? That's Wendy's, isn't it? They're talking about their burgers being square. <laughs> Damn, emos sounds really good. <laughs> yes, it does. We haven't done that in a long time. No, we have not. Is a, a St. Louis area pizza. Well, you can't just say yes, Sun Brand. I said three different brands. <laughs> Jackass. Are you ordering from all three? Well, there's, they're getting a lot of pizza easy from different places. Aaron can't eat that much. And 
that means my palette is in the wrong place. My palette's here, but now I'm holding like this, so my paint should be on my palm. <laughs> Emos? <laughs> yeah, I know, Creep Show. Oh, Creep Show, I have all of your prints ready. Yeah. They are all done and ready to go. It Ty, just. Time for a discreet handoff. You and Ty just need to figure out when and where. I mean, hell, you could just. Try. I was supposed to say something to you the other day, actually. Mainly because. Also, Gareth. Yes. No, the, the turkey. The turkey is ready to go out the door. Dragon King. Uh, we just have to print a shipping label and it'll be shipped on Monday. reprint the staff so I set her off to the side and reprinted the staff and then I couldn't find her and I was so pissed off and then I picked up this thing I'm like you know of all the little places I could have put it this would be the only one I would put it and I opened it up and right it was right there I'm like oh you're just as happy dance yes they are pretty awesome and then like I said the the dolls I actually printed out large, larger than what they're supposed to be. So the dolls are slight, about the same size as the witch, which makes them creepy as. Show your mouth. Yeah. They're sitting over there. You want me to grab? Them? If you want to. Hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't push off the table while I'm painting. My show. Yes. So here is Lola. Yes, it is in the name, that's for sure. So, as you can see, there's a reason that her, her staff got lost. It's, it's tiny. So, there's Lilith. Staff down so I have a free hand. And here is my favorite of the dolls. <laughs> so the doll should have printed about half that size. And then the best, oh, I took the wrong hand away. The best part about the doll? <laughs> but actually, let me find the right one. You can leave it zoomed in if you want. Yes, this one. So, Hammer Bitch, right? Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Is that not awesome? That is great. Pictures, oh my lord. That doll is. That 
doll is great. So, like, I love the little locks and curls. I mean, look at the freaking detail on that. Is that not amazing? But I love the fact that they had the broken, um, because it's a porcelain. It's a porcelain oh, doll. Gotcha, yeah. So the broken face is just freaking awesome. I mean, how cute. Like a little flower in her hat and everything. <laughs> but this is like the really cool thing. You can see the joints. It's a scarol doll. Just look at the flowers. I mean, how freaking adorable is that little hat with that little flower? But you can see the joints from the... Sorry, I am off. My fault. The keyboard. Oh! <laughs> Don't you hate it when that happens? That drives me absolutely insane. Oh. I keep doing that. So, yeah. She's got little pigtails. I mean, come on. <laughs> but, yeah. No, they're awesome. And they are all five. Yeah, back up a little bit there. All five ready to go. There's all your dolls. Dun, dun, dun. One of each. And I told you when I did this giveaway, there was a reason that I picked the dolls. Because, oh my god, they are freaking perfect. But then, there's Lilith. And I mean, her crow on her staff is so cute. Is that not so cute? But. Roar! Okay, I'm going to stop playing now and get back to painting. <laughs> so, your... Your award rewards are, you know what? No, I'm not doing that. Your rewards are ready uh, to go. Um, I did. I purposely print them separately from bases because it makes it so much easier to paint. But I do have a wooden floor that I can print for you as well if you would like those. Like it's a proper plank wooden floor. So I think I'm going to catch up a little bit more white than these guys. They are like super, super awesome. I think before we go to a convention again, which... I don't remember when our first one is next year, but yeah. So I, the, the, uh, just just let me get in real quick so that because creep show got on later. Our sounds are really low. That's my fault because we've got that ambient music playing and they're going across the same channel. So it also made spook sounds all go quiet as well. We'll get it figured out. Sorry. Um, what was I going to say, though? Oh, uh, before our first convention next year, I do want to get one of those dolls printed at, like, this big and painted so that it can, you know, travel around and, and sit at our booth with us as a lovely little add-on. Oh, just like we've got that monkey that I need to print for Cora still, but... He just pl sat and plugged his ears, so I just held my breath waiting for the scream that was mm -hmm. about to happen. I have a headache. Sorry. Headache. I wasn't plugging my ears. I was just holding my... The pulse. Gotcha. <laughs> Music is very prominent. Music is still loud. I've got to work that out. I have an idea how. I'm going to spend a little bit of cash. Like five bucks. I'm going to For those of you that are interested, there's like another digital cable that I can add so that I have a separate channel. But you have to donate to, which is fine. The software is pretty great, so I'm pretty happy to do that. And 
you can also donate to our Twitch or our Kofi to help support us to add that extra cable. Yeah, I think the Kofi, though, isn't the first goal, is the rubber duckies to go in all of the alchemy stuff. Yes. But I can make a new... As soon as that goal is hit, I can make a new goal and I can just put, you know, a $5 goal to get us that new cable slot. Joe asked, have you looked at voice meter potato? And that's exactly what I'm using. But I just need to get one more. One more virtual cable. Because there's already a bunch of things crammed in on some of the channels. gonna bring the spooky sounds down. Well, I mean, realistically, we can get rid of the music. If people would prefer that, that is fine. I understand that. Until we've got it worked out. Maybe. What are you asking me? I don't know. Do you want me to get rid of the music? Um, I would like our viewers to make that decision. Oh. Yeah, you guys... You guys want to bring back the spooky sounds? We're we're down with that. Just tell us in chat to get rid of the music and we'll do that. It, it's Sunday, right? So for those of you that don't know, Sunday's always our it's things out. Even our layout, appreciate the accolades not one, right? Even our layout, the starting soon doesn't look the way it's supposed to. I think it looks awesome. It's different. It looks pretty much the way it did before, so. Well, I'm really, really happy with my layout. It looks so freaking cool. Okay. I think I am wrong. I was going to say, I think I've gotten all the gold ones done. Confucius says, Confucius thinks, Confucius is wrong. So, tomorrow night, we here, but in Gamers in the Unknown, we'll be talking about another supernatural, paranormal sort of topic, and that will be a lot less monster. Dawn has a uh, bigger than a mini thing that she's going to be painting for that. And tomorrow's giveaway night, too, so we have a chance to win. So let's be sure to watch it. And again, that's on the Gamers in the Unknown channel if you're not following yet. At 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Tuesday. As long as everything goes as planned. It will. Okay. And don't want to be back for quick and keep hats again for our regular show. It was Sunday, like I said, or Sunday, sort of trying new things out, not going to work some bigger projects. In this case, she's finishing the Boy Dragon for two Tuesdays ago. Each. Um. Wednesday? Or Wednesday. Or? Well, no, I was just going to say Tuesday for me. We have not decided what we are working on yet because um, it basically there's the two thousand dollar channel. No, that's totally wrong. Two thousand point, not dollar point. The channel points are crypto. Point. 
channel points. Uh, there's the 2,000 crit points that you can use to alter the stream, which will ver er, narrow down what I can pick from. <clears throat> so, we're kind of, I'm, I don't have anything set in stone yet for that particular stream, because I'm waiting to see if anybody uses those points tonight. And there are images in the Discord for Alter the Stream where you can see what the options are. And now I'm going to talk about it. Oh, no, you're fine. The only other thing we're going to mention is that then on Wednesday, so Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Central, at this channel, and then again on this channel, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Central, Aura will be painting dragon head on a shield is that what it's yes on? and that will only be in purple and, and white. white is what they were restricted to painting with they had to paint a dragon because that was the ultra stream they had so they had they have to paint a dragon and they have to paint only in purple and white so uh i'm currently printing their dragon head and shield which is kind of amazing they're going to be painting a shield that is only in purple and white. That's the only two shades of color, you know, color family that they can use from. So it's kind of amazing. Thinking about something. Yeah. There's something. Well, now, so here's the thing. This is how I gotta get things done. I, mean, I gotta spend some time. <laughs> um, you can only use your channel points to guide me into this grouping, and then I will pick from that group. Because until I get until I get more. Well, I mean, like, some of the groups, I, I like showing the full group photo, but realistically speaking, I can't have someone pick, like, the bear cabin, because, one, I got too many Christmas orders to print, but I, I can't take that much of my printing time, because that bear is, like, the bear. I wonder if I could talk to work. thinking about nothing nothing apparently <laughs> I had a thought I lost my thought it like literally I was like oh, I'm thinking about and then it went ah, and ran away <laughs> emos that's what I'm thinking about is emos thanks Sunbrand
case you're traveling. And if you're not, damn you, woman. <laughs> This is just another metallic, um, and it's a copper, copper pin actually. It's just kind of fun. Okay, so I'm definitely going purples and blues and pinks. No, not blues. Purples and pinks on my corals. center strip because it is way too block of color right now but I think this is working quite well did you get up So curly. But it is definitely one of those things that uh, I want to get done and going soon. But I think we're going to be in a more comfortable position with miniatures printing and printed soon. So I think that'll be able to be put on the burner quickly. But there's also a big giant piece that I get to print for Sunbaran, the Gilded Ship. Yeah. The Gilded Spirit, which is a big giant flying ship and it's freaking awesome. Oh, that's so great. I should put a link in so people can see it. Yeah. Um, but that thing is going to be amazing. I'm going to show from our shop.
need to dry brush with a smaller dry brush. Need to dry brush with a smaller dry brush. That's what I just said. With a thing in my mouth, so probably no one understood it. How many of these do you have to sell? Twelve. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Well, technically, you're going to get one sooner than you think because I need to print it at a smaller scale after I've got Angie's printed. Oh, why is that? So that I can get photos of full scale and small scale so that I can offer that as a smaller, as an option. But because it has so many pieces, I want to print it at that smaller scale uh, as a safety to know that it will print and work. Because it is potential I could print it at a smaller scale and things don't fit in it. Which is fine if it's us. Which says, so the pics in Discord have a dragon turtle upright on its own legs. Yes. Is the house on its back. Yes. Or some from the Alter the Stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so the house is on its back. Uh, it has a version where it has no house, and it has a version where it has a house. It's a snappy turtle. But that would be one um, that I would not be able to print in one, not be able to paint in one show. It's too big. It could be a good Sunday show. But it could be a good Sunday show. Very happy Sunday shows we get this month. Yeah. But it shows up anyway. But uh no, I I mean I do like doing things like that on stream because then I can well let's be honest then I can have a reason an excuse to print the damn thing and paint it for myself because I love painting and some things are just really big and it, it's really hard to justify using all that resin for just because I feel like it I suppose it makes me want to go back and rewatch Game of Thrones well, and that's why I was kind of thinking is like, you know, maybe now would be a good time to to visit some of those because it's we're getting ready for our snow, right? <clears throat> um not my favorite thing. Just barely touching to kind of highlight the higher edges of each one of these little swatch, swatch, and then kind of dabbing with my finger so it, it kind of naturally blends it in. You know what I mean? Makes it to where there's not. So if I just put a line, then you've got that start and stop, and what I'm doing with my finger is kind of dabbing away some of that extra paint, which doesn't really work very well on the glove, but it gives you a, an idea of the motion, that it makes it to where that it just fades away and fades in better. It doesn't look so natural. Dragon Trapper's Lodge actually has their entire release for this month is all ice as well. 
which is kind of awesome <clears throat> and really quite beautiful. They have a Elemental. It's a it's an ice elemental. Uh, what an elemental does. Which I'm thinking of like a T Rex. Which is designed like head off the PC to Alexis, but I will stay on here so it counts for you. Thank you. Thank you. Like, you just remind me I don't actually share. to like exactly that. They spent days looking at minis on my mini factory and came back with a list of, this is what I want. This is perfect for me. I mean, when you're playing it, David's out there. Yeah. I mean, it's That's what I'm sure I would have been doing over those of days, too. This to be the This to be the Yeah, it's just Oh, my nose, it's so itchy. So I'm taking his whiskers and dry brushing with just the copper, but then his beard, we I dry brushed with the copper, but it still has some of that white showing. It's kind of awesome. That was like super weird. What's that? I swear I just heard somebody walking in the uh, apartment above us. We're in a house. That's what I'm saying. Like it's, I swear to God, it sounded exactly like somebody walking in the apartment above us. This part should go a 
faster because it's just a huge area. Even the things that are kind of on the dull side right now will definitely not be in the finish. But I mean, like you can see the difference between right here where I've hit and right there where I haven't. So it's just. So much cooler looking. Gunmetal gray is awesome. And then on the ones that are really arched, they would hit, get a lot more light. So I'm kind of hitting those a little harder. Non paper painter. Question, which I think I've asked before. Really it's okay. You got these acrylics, but you bought them many things, right? Correct. Did you say they're the same thing, but like they're or something? Uh, no, not exactly. Um, mini, it, it, I understand why you're a little bit confused because there's technicals in mini paints that are different. For a simplistic way of explaining it, because I don't know all the actual technicalities of it, um, an ink, so if you imagine a base layer is a really thick paint, and then it goes up from there. So you've got your base coat, um, and I... You've got your base color, not coat. <laughs> Um, but, and it's a very thick paint, so you can lay down one coat of it, and it'll cover all of the paint, or it'll cover all the mini. Um, and then it kind of goes up from, from that area where your next layer would be a layer paint, which is a thinner than the base coat paint. Um, and different companies thin it down in different ways, and I, I don't know how each one does it. But, so then you have your layer paint, which is thinner than your base. Then you have a, an ink, which is thinner than a layer. And it will, it's very, almost like water, like where it'll sink down into all the crevices. So an ink and a shade, are pretty much the same thing. To me, an ink is the same consistency as a shade is, but it is more pigmented. There's more of the pigment left in the, like a lot of shades seem like they're just watered down paint, where an ink is not actual what they used to write with ink, but it, it seems like that. It's, you know what I mean? Sort of. I'm not explaining this well. So, so but what about these, I guess? Is, where would this fall in that thing? If I buy paint, mini store or something? If you bought mini paint, specifically mini paint, based on the consistency that I'm getting from these tubes, this would be like a layer paint. Like almost some of these, like this tube is closer to a base coat because it's a thicker paint. These are closer to a layer paint because they're thinner and it takes more of this to cover a complete something completely. But 
all of these are really good pigments and that's really what you're concerned with when you're painting is what are you getting from the paint as far as pigment goes because that will determine how much you can or cannot water it down to thin it out. I personally prefer, like I barely, when I first started painting, I used a, a lot of the different types of paint to help me. But now I personally prefer to just to kind of stick to one paint. Um, and I prefer the one type of paint, not one paint. And I prefer the ones that are a little bit on the thinner side, but if it's highly pigmented, I can water it down as I, as I feel it needs it. But mainly that's because there's so many details on a miniature that I don't want a big, giant, hunking, thick thing of paint going in there because then it fills all of those gaps and I can't see those details anymore. You lose the detail of many if you put too much paint on it. So if at any point you don't like what's happening, if you've already got a lot of paint on there, you're better off trying to pull some of that paint off with like maybe just even soap and water, depending on what you're working with, than to try to just keep going on and on and on and on. Um, like a, a good example of that is Cora was struggling to paint someone's foot. The more paint they added, the less you could see that the person was had a foot and not just a shoe. <laughs> because it was building up in between the toes, it was building up in this spot and that spot, and you just fill all the details. Fills all, and you just lose it all. So you couldn't even tell that it was a foot anymore with a sandal. It looked like a tennis shoe, which is not really what you're going for. but it's just what happens if you get too heavy-handed with the paint. So more layers of thinner paint is definitely gonna give you a better outcome. This thing is in my way. I missed a spot. Yeah, I remember when you said you were getting those paints, I was like, are you breaking? <laughs> no. Um, and I mean, realistically, like I bought a set of 36 tubes of paint for, I think it was like, it was under 20 bucks. And yeah. that's massively cheaper than and anybody who has bought any mini paint knows that it's like, wow, that's way cheaper than mini paint is. That being said, this works and it works well. That does not mean that any paint works well. This is a, a really good paint. Um, it was really, really well priced and it really works well. Um, but I do have actual miniature paint from Warhammer. Now these miniature, or these metallic paints versus this metallic paint, this one, I can actually paint something completely with this, just in, you know, one or two coats and then it's covered. Whereas this, I really, in order to get that yellow, I really need to paint it in a yellow color, then use this as a dry brush over it to give it the sparkle. So this works better than that for if I was just painting straight from the top, the tube or the bottom. Um, kind of off what you had asked, but it kind of all goes together. It's, it's better 
to dry brush the same spot 15 times to build up the level than trying to grab it and just smack it all on at once. Which is the kind of mistake I have to make. It's what I was doing for a very long time. Gotta get done. Gotta get, get done. done. Gotta get done. Gotta get done. But now it's all on there. Yay! Is there a mini under all that paint? No. But uh, to be fair, I don't usually have time to, to worry about the paint. I'm gonna... Kill us with it? Figure out the backstory. Do some really intricate work on that, where the guy came from, what his motives are, so that my murder hobos can kill him without asking. Yep. Versus Jake, who got used to us murder hobos, and then... Uh, Ty would come in and say, well, what was this guy's name again? Oh. Fuck you, Ty. That's his name. <laughs> Fuck you, Ty. Can you spell that for me? F-U-Q. Yeah. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of marshmallow on my lips, too. Okay, so that's going to be his iris. <laughs> and for you brush lickers out there, there is a way to get around that. Don't lick your brushes. <laughs> no. There, there is a reason that they do it. It gets the tip back beautifully. But. One, it's dangerous because you might have paint on there. It's not a good thing. Have a little tiny container, a whole bunch of water, and a napkin. And it gets the moisture back on my brush and it gets the tip back where I wanted it. I picked up the point. <laughs> All right. Hi, balls. Shut up. scroll down on our page and you can see a link to his stuff. He's awesome. He's really fun to chat with too. Was that not putting the eyeballs both looking in the exact same direction. You don't want your eyeballs both coming straight out, but one slightly cockeyed. actually going to make one eyeball kind of looking like this one is. The other one would be twisted very far in because he's looking that way. actually didn't notice because I've got my hand braced so good deal and yes I typically flip them upside down when I'm doing the other eye Ghosts. Hello, Regina. Regina says it's looking great. 
Hi, Regina. Thanks for joining. And thank you. I'm glad you like it. Currently working on eyeballs. that I like to do with those is um, paint. I'm going to take my, you want to go big on my face real quick. I'm going to take my glasses off too so you can actually see my eyeballs. So in the, the eyeball section is all of this, but in a mini you've got, you know, the eyelashes and all of that other kind of stuff too, right? So paint this whole area white and then bring your skin tone around where it shouldn't be white that makes that easier then give a black iris or pupil and be done <laughs> with humanoids unless it's a competition piece there is no reason to do anything other than white black dot that is good enough um they're just so tiny that you're you're spinning your wheels and it's stressing you out for nothing move on or my favorite make them possessed and make it black <laughs> <laughs> so that's a real easy way to cheat is to simply make it make it a black eye and, um i've actually had to wear i've had one eye i got perfect and i was so excited it was awesome and the other eye was horrible so I took a big, big slash of red paint across the face <laughs> and said they got in a fight <laughs> and they lost one. <laughs> but literally coming back with like the skin tone and then the eyeliner is easier than trying to get the white in only that space. Here's what I say now that I do. Don't put paint tube in your mouth. I need some black. Look what it is. Alright. But again, also doing the... So, so this is definitely my stronger side. It's easier to paint this eye on this side. Well, rather than trying to fight all of this stuff that's happening on this side of the mini, flipping it upside down and turning it to where now nothing is in my way, I don't know why it took me so long to figure out, flip the damn thing up, flip it over. But it took me way too long to think of that. So, common sense when you're painting. Jesus is nice, that's a great improvise. Regina also says the music is a bit louder when you're speaking. Yeah, I think let's just, just gonna get, we're just going to turn the music off. It was an attempt. It did not work. I keep trying to bring it down. Okay, now it's pupil time, which is basically for a dragon going to mean a line. Let's see. It's a little more. Yeah, it's... I. I just got to work on the audio better. Yeah. Yeah. Which, you know, we, we're a work in progress, guys. Hell, Ty and Jake stream, they've decided that their whole first season is a, uh, what did you guys call it? It's the pilot the season. The pilot season is <laughs> the pilot episode. 
-hmm. <laughs> and the other trick that I have yet to master when it comes to painting eyes is having the tiniest bit, tiniest, tiniest bit of ink, or ink, of paint on your brush. But usually what happens to me is by the time I make that stroke, my paint is dried out because it's so little on there. So wetting the paint down and having your, your brush very wet can help. Are you reaching for I'm trying to well, yeah that's the other thing is the mic is quite a bit of ways away from me now I'm worried that it's super quiet I just need to get set up for my mock radio no nope, it's not turned down my mock radio show have that thing right in your face <laughs> instead of in front of the speakers <laughs> okay we have proper dragon eyes nice. on this side that side it's there too but i can't get it angled <laughs> the right way to show you guys <laughs> ah static just like my fingers are like staticky so my my bangs just i can feel the static building up on my face it's horrible <laughs> i hate winter for that Regina says it's so fun. I love it. Oh. I'm assuming you mean the, the dragon, not winter, with the static and the everything <laughs> making my face feel itchy now. <laughs> I truly really mean the dragon. Oh, no. What's the matter? Oh, I must have had blue paint on my hand and it got on the bottom of the dragon. So, Q tip water wash. So if you catch it soon enough, this works. Did you catch it soon enough? I did, yes. I got the blue off. All right. Virginia says, winter is good for cozy and snuggling, but not for the cold. I don't really mind the cold because I love, I'm a banky baby. I love curling up in a blanket. I like t-shirts. Um, but, yeah, I, I could do without the static. For sure. It drives me absolutely freaking batty. I am not one for the heat, that is. I'm not made for the heat. Ty can attest to that, because I get angries. Static and dry skin. Yes. I do. No, I do too. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, that's gloves. Mm -mm. So I'm just going in with my watered down black and kind of deepening some areas. I don't really want as shiny as they are right now. I can fix the music even added to my list. <laughs> All right, I am going to say Mr. Dragon is done. So we're going to get our broken down base. Set him on there. Get him on there, right? Oh, I hate that squeak he makes. <laughs> it's like the fin touching. Ugh, God, I hate that. I cannot wait till this guy's glued down. We're going to move him out of the way. Doesn't seem like he's sitting right. Wasn't that a different side of the face or something? Yeah. 
Of course, you had him on there before. Yeah. So Jesus, I must head out now, but I'll be back on Tuesday. Do you know what you'll be painting then? I do not because no one has used their points yet. So it's basically a free-for-all of whatever the hell I feel like painting at this moment. Or what I can talk you into. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty much whatever I feel like painting at the moment. Uh, because, like I said, no one's used those points, so I can kind of just do whatever. All right, so that is done. I am going to get my purples. Pink. I need a good pink. Not a purple, I thought it was. That was the purple I thought I was grabbing. I mean, no, honestly, I'm I'm kind of back and forth between the different options I have. And I just got a whole bunch of new options too. Um, you talking because we just picked up a new merchant tier well, with somebody? One, we picked up a new merchant tier, but also there, I just got two new releases. Uh, there's your 2,000 points. Now you know what you're doing. Uh, well, technically it wasn't, but yeah, Regina, I will for you. But Look at that. you're a sweetheart. Yeah. Here's the real killer. I have two forest dragons now. So you have to let me know which one. Would you, yeah, I mean, the, there's links on the Etsy page to both of them. Um, so you can get them from there. Because I have the forest dragon that you have. But I also now have a forest dragon that has actual leaves. Um, mm -hmm. For wings. So it's kind of flipping amazing. <laughs> So yeah, there's there's two versions now. Technically, oh, what, which one? Oh, excuse me. That? That had it? One is Dragon Trappers mini and mini one is Mini Monster. Oh, yes, I see it. Um, technically, I have three because Lord of the Print has a Forest Dragon, but it really just looks like a Green Dragon, which is, I mean, it's still awesome. I love the freaking thing, but it doesn't look as woodsy as the two forest dragons from the other sculptors but yeah but lord of the print just came out with their new release which is um all words tyler words what i'm sorry the four horsemen of the apocalypse oh, yes so we have all of those then we have um, you talking about the merchant, the epic, epic miniatures. Thank you. Which is really got a crap ton of player characters. It's more player characters than anything, which definitely I was lacking in. I was hoping to pick up. Um, Another one that Regina had suggested, uh, I've forgotten their name again. I've got them favorited and marked down, but their their merchant tier is still sold out. Oh. Um, I can't remember their name now. I'm literally struggling, struggling, and it's pissing me off. Anyway, but uh, the. Uh, But Gina says the second forest dragon is really cool, actually. The new one? Arch, Arch Villain Games. Games. Thank you. Yes, Regina. Thank you. Yeah, their merchant here is still sold out. So, I mean, I've got them on my 
my watch radar, but I don't know when I'm going to be able to pick them up. Hopefully, because we just picked somebody up, hopefully not before February or something. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I think before I'm able to pick up anybody else, I have to wait until my new printer comes in. <laughs> yeah, that too. Because that could easily put me over capacity. Regina says, yes, the new one. All right. The new one it is, my dear. That is cool. Yeah, I, I've already got it, like, completely painted in my head, too, to be honest. Sounds working again. That is so loud. Holy. <laughs> it literally landed... Oh, into the paint and stabbed and stuck into the paint because I tossed it. Who did that? <laughs> I hate you so much. I, I mean, it did break or anything, right? It didn't, no, but like, <laughs> I, I actually punctured a <laughs> hole. <laughs> Uh, Jesus, then I'll see you on Tuesday, but I really must leave now. Good luck with the base and the punctured paint. <laughs> I hate him so much right now. <laughs> Thanks, Regina. We'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs> Oops. I need like a Ziploc bag or something to put this paint in before it goes bad. You can inch for some of them. Oh my gosh, I hate you so much. That was so flipping loud. Uh, okay. What am I even doing? Witnesses. No, you can take my care of and it. Safety. Oh, am I going to get it on my fingers? Hopefully, yes. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> it did get on me. Like just a dot. Not a lot. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe you did that. <laughs> <laughs> I just needed to do a volume check. It's good. I didn't know you were going to throw it. <laughs> It scared the shit out of me. <laughs> it's dead. Yeah, the... Did you look at the dragon? Me? Yeah. The new one? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I linked it in the chat. It's awesome. So it is, it's even got like a chest piece right here that I'm going to do an amazing glow effect from because why not? Yeah. It's going to be so, 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 so much fun to paint. I am a little concerned about getting it done in the time frame. So I will definitely have to have it completely base coated so that I can focus in on just details. Are we, do we do a 50% size on that one or anything like that? Um, or is it too new? That one is probably going to be offered as a 50%, but yeah, until I print it at least once, I don't like to do that because I don't know if the pieces fit so well together. Gotcha. Um, but I will be printing that one because I, I linked it or I put it up for sale today and it already sold one. So I will be printing that for somebody else very soon anyway. Oh, you told me that. Yeah. I forgot about that. That's awesome. I don't know if we've done that with a mini before. Put it up. Somebody buys it right away. I don't think so. But forest dragons are extremely popular. Don't do it again. 
I'll kill you. You're in luck for the moment. I don't have enough points. <laughs> so I'm kind of letting this wet blend. But I am. I've got that darker purple and then I am going to lighter and stuff like that. Fuck's sake. What? My heart is still racing, you <laughs> asshole. That's what it was. <laughs> oh, Sir needs to come have dinner. It's time to feed the puppy. You need to feed us soon, too. Yeah. I was going to ask you where we're at. We're two hours and 20 minutes in on this project. Um, I have to paint these corals, add glue to the base, and add uh, sand. And then that, I can't dry brush over that until it's been sitting for days, or at least a day. So pretty much I will be done when I add the sand. So I'm guessing 20, maybe not even 20 minutes more. And then we're ordering emos. Damn you, Angie. Damn your <laughs> eyes. Damn your eyes. Knees and toes. Hmm. Well, that's not what I'm saying right now. Right now, what I'm saying is, yay, emos. Although, they're going to take 45 minutes to deliver. I need more pink, because the pink went straight on into... Actually, I didn't stab the pink, I don't believe. <laughs> if you don't hear from me again. <laughs> oh, I did it. Where's my... Oh, good boy. The pink's right there. So, uh, actually, Tyler, can you get me one of our mixing cups up there? Yes. So pretty. You. Just one. Because what I'm going to do is mix up. Thank you. And I need a uh, skewer or something to stir with. Yep. In one of the drawers. Trying to get things over to me and very cautiously stay away from me at the same time because <laughs> mm -hmm. smart move. Anything else? Smart move. Shit. <laughs> you are such a dork. <laughs> Better leave. All right. Look how pretty. That looks so awesome. Okay. So the corals are done. Now I have my rock and my sand. So there's two ways to do the sand, really. So I can paint my glue onto the base and then pour the sand on it and let it sit and then kind of dump it off. Or I can mix my sand and my glue and then place it on the base. Pick one. Paint the glue on it. Okay. So doing that method, 
have some excuse me have something nearby that you can set it on this is just a uh, parchment paper sort of wax paper sorry not parchment um parch or wax paper so that i can dump the glue or, mm -mm. No. dump the sand and then dump it off the excess onto this and then pour this back in so what I like to do rather than using and losing a paintbrush oh no I have a crappy one so that's fine or if you don't want to sacrifice a paintbrush q-tips work for this as well but this one is stiff as bleh, and I won't use it to paint with it. So, this needs to move. So now I just want to get glue. See, it's so rough, it's not even really working for this. Um, I just want to put the glue in everywhere I want sand to be. And nowhere I don't. Will you go? into the last drawer, second to last drawer, third to last drawer, and see if you can find me a circle base that will fit this piece. Should be about four inches. Okay. Because now would be an opportune time to glue it down to its, its new base anyway. No, baby, I need a circle. Yeah, I, well, I mean, you could bring me an oval and I can, if it fits, if it's big enough, I can fit it around and go ahead and fill in the gaps. Looks like the rest of what we got right now is two inch circles. I don't know that that would fit. Oh. Nope. All right. That's the biggest <clears throat> thing we have. Well, that's going to have to wait then, and I'll have to pick some up. Uh, yeah. For the game store, check it. I, I mean, I can. I can pick them up for fairly easily, so it's not a huge deal. See, it's wobbling on my hand even. I'm going to try to plug everything here one last time, okay? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. First, I forgot to mention this earlier, though you may have seen it in our strip that goes across the bottom occasionally. We're at 72 Twitch followers right now. Once we get to 80 Twitch followers, we're going to vote on the next... It's, it's a biggie, not a mini. We're going to vote on what the biggie is that's going to end up being given away at 100 Twitch followers. To any present followers that are watching when we do that giveaway so first of all follow so you can get a chance to hop in here and, and do that poll and figure out what we're going to give away to they're all extraordinary models too uh next tomorrow night 7 p.m u.s central time if you want to go follow gamers in the unknown you'll know when we start that's the show where we're gonna we talk about paranormal events and cryptids especially and things like that and how we would use them in our own tabletop session so uh, that's tomorrow night at 7 p.m u.s central time tuesday and wednesday here back on this channel at 6 30 p.m u.s central time tuesday we have crypt monkey paints don will be back painting uh what a forest what? dragon forest dragon yes <clears throat> which is awesome looking check that link out just a little ways up on the chat and then Wednesday, Cora will be painting um, a dragon head. A I mounted seen it dragon head. Yeah, on, on a shield. 
And because points were spent, they can only use purple and white for their paint. So they're going to be doing various shades of purple, it seems. Should be pretty good. It's going to be awesome. I assume mixing those colors too, but I don't know. Yeah. That part is completely up to them, and they get to maneuver as they need to. <clears throat> but... Check out our Etsy shop. Um, we are getting down to the wire. If you are wanting a miniature before Christmas, better get it. Get on that. Because we are running right down to the wire of what can ship out and make it to you before Christmas hits. And we have licenses for a lot of great models. So yes. check that out. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm sorry, I've got to pause and take a drink. Um, this is one of the models that is available uh, from said amazing sculptors. And we did just pick up a new sculptor, which has a lot more of the uh, player character size and actual, like, characters that you can buy for yourself. And for your friends, you know, depending. Because, I mean, that's that's the beauty of shopping online, right? Because it's... You can buy it and ship it directly to them and don't have to worry about shipping from you to them or whatever. Although I would err on the side of caution if you are buying a present for your DM. <laughs> Yeah, you got to take that into account, right? Don't do that. <laughs> I think you should do it. You can take I love DMs, but if you get them something, you have to fight that something. This is a bad plan. <laughs> so I linked this painted one, if anybody's interested in it. Dawn, did you say we? this is one we can print as well? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sorry. The Koi Dragon. I'm asking about the Koi Dragon. So on the actual, yes, this Koi Dragon, you can buy literally on our shop, our Kofi shop, you can buy this one. I found it. I found this it. right here, done. Um, you are painted and ready for your table. If you want to paint it yourself, then you go to our Etsy page and we can print it and ship it. So normally what I would do is use sand that is the right color so I don't have to paint it, but I didn't have any. So this sand is a little darker than what I would want for my beachy sand. But it'll work because what I'll end up doing is dry brushing it to get it that lighter color. Go off frame here for a second so I can push this around where I need it because it's down here so I can't like you guys have a really great angle but that's over uh -huh. it's like over there to, to me so <laughs> but I literally just have a little container full of sand and a little spoon easy tasty spoon tasting spoon not tasty I have not licked this spoon nor will I um, and I'm just dumping it because it's obviously only going to stick to where the glue is. Now, it'll make some of the other stuff kind of dusty, but a clean, dry brush wipes all of that away in moments. It's like nothing to fix that. Uh, as a matter of fact, I did this on something else I was working on and it got all dusty and yucky looking and it just you know kind of sweep it up and you're good some of these spots are a little hard to sit, hit okay so our new sandy base is on want to give that a minute 
That was so simple, even a Tyler could do it. No. Hi, baby. I'd probably make a mess of that, right? Yeah. But it's okay, because you're going to learn. Cool Dragon would end up with, like, a dirt beard or something. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite giant brush, but it is completely compacted and I can't, I've tried for a week to get it back to life and I can't. For some reason this is still wet. Okay. Anyway. Pretty much, guys, we are done. Believe it or not. So, doing this a little early, normally I'd let this sit for like an hour before it did this. I'm just very, very carefully tapping because I have a backup sheet over here. But I want to show you how easily to clean this up. If this one transferred for a second. Okay, so now, because believe it or not, we want to save the sand because it's expensive. You think, oh, just go in the yard and grab some. It don't look right. I'm literally just pouring it back. Well, I guess unless you're Michael Mordor, right? Been able to walk across to the, to the beach and pick oh, up really great mini. My God, I'm so jealous. He literally just walks mean. down because he's in Scotland. He just walks down to the beach and grabs sand and everything else. And he did one paint job that was for Isabella, uh, Azumi Walker, and it was a mermaid. So he literally went and found tiny itty bitty little shells and made her a little shell bra. From it was just it was freaking cute as hell. I loved it. So, again, clean, dry brush, and I'm just sweeping. Now, obviously, this is not going to be completely done because I don't want to hit my guys, but you can see. I can just kind of very gently clean them off right now because he ain't stuck. <laughs> but... There's our rock and our coral kind of popping out. You could just kind of dust them off. So I'm not going to do any more than that because I don't want to knock anything loose. And then we also discovered I don't have the right size base, so I have to order that. <laughs> but it'll be here. Because I'm going to order it on Amazon, probably. Because our local game shop is super easy to get to. It's like 45-minute drive. It's not really that big of a deal. It kind of sucks that we don't have a game shop that's closer. But... The club, which sells some stuff like this. Yes. But where I'd want to go is the fantasy shop, which is an extremely dangerous shop to go to. <laughs> Because basically you walk in and you're like, I just, I need it all. Just, just give me all. So can't do that. So I don't like going there. <laughs> Dangerous. Okay. But as you can see, thank you. this with a little bit of detail work on the, on cleanup work on the base needs to happen. But this is our baby. He is all done and beautified <laughs> and I love him so he will sit here for another hour or two uh, actually he'll probably I'll let him sit overnight um, that's the better option let it sit overnight, and then I will dry brush away all of the rest of the dirt. Everything will be set in stone at that point. And then I will gloss coat 
the everything. Once everything is completely gloss coated, I'll go back and where the waves are white tipped, I'll actually mat that because if you look at the ocean and all of the, the crashing waves, everything is shiny except for that the foam. It, it's not shiny, it's matte. So I'll mat that down and it will just look amazing. Don't tilt like that. There you go. Didn't quite have it seated all the way. But man, he's freaking awesome. I highly, highly, highly recommend this model. Um, if you have a 3D printer, it's amazing. Go buy the file, print it for yourself. It's You can literally print the entire base if you have a large enough printer. You can print the entire base in one go, the entire dragon in one go, and you won't have any assembly lines or anything like that. Um, if your printer is not large enough to do it in one go, you can. It, it has segmented pieces as well. But because I was doing it in clear resin, I knew I didn't want any lines, any... Um, groups that were or any segmented lines at all because I didn't want to gap fill I didn't want to do any of that because you'd see it straight through the resin or straight through the the clear resin uh, but highly recommend this model highly recommend um this paint job as a matter of fact <laughs> just saying you know doot, doot. <laughs> but next I almost said next week it is technically next week but it is, it's really, in a couple of days, we will be back and we will be painting a forest dragon, which is amazing and pretty much has leaves as its wings. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. So we will be doing that on Tuesday. On Monday, you will see Nessie. Um, oh, on the Gamers Unknown. On the Unknown. Gamers Unknown. Yeah. I know. The unknown. yeah. Um, you'll see Nessie and it will be given away. So make sure you come and then wednesday of course coralou will be painting a dragon head in all purple and white and it's gonna be so much fun <laughs> but that's it for us on this lovely lovely sunday afternoon and and we think we're gonna go get pizza yeah okay so i have learned i'm not waving i'm gonna say bye to everybody and thank you so much for joining me and i am sorry that he was delayed but i love him and he's gorgeous and now I'm going to wave and that will signal Ty to go ahead and turn it off.